Welcome back on this Thursday morning. So we have much needed snow on the way. We're expecting on getting about a foot of snow in many areas within the central counties of the UP. Now look across the area, four to six across the west end of the UP, seven to nine in the interior west along the Wisconsin state line, around 10 inches to about a foot in the central counties. The higher elevations though, when we start to tap into that east and northeast wind flow, the higher elevations of Western Marquette County could exceed a foot of snow. Our eastern areas around seven inches to near nine inches in the far east near the Sioux, not quite as much. So uh, plenty of snow on the way and um, it's going to fall within a span of about six to about eight hours. So quite quickly, which is why those alerts are in place and we'll continue with these alerts all the way through the evening hours. Those are set to expire about one o'clock tomorrow morning. Here's a storm system still southwest of us bringing in some rain to areas downstate with some snow along 75. Most of the heavy snow is located over northern Wisconsin at this moment. The track of it will kind of move right across the lower peninsula. It stays south of us, but we do end up with that giant swath of moderate to heavy snow. Already starting to see some light snow along the Wisconsin state line at this moment. So if you're traveling south into parts of Menominee County here from say Delta County in the next half hour to about an hour, you're going to encounter this. In fact, it's on the doorstep of parts of Escanaba along 35, right through Marinette along 35 and US 41. They're dealing with some of this light to moderate snow at the moment. So I did set a moderate to high risk for travel conditions because I do think that right around midday is when we're expecting some of the worst travel conditions with things becoming a little bit more slippery and sloppy, potentially a little blowing snow near Lake Superior. But winds aren't going to be a huge factor for today, which is why I did set a lower risk for the outages and the tree damage and some lakeshore flooding. Winds today out of the east and northeast. We're expecting gusts to push near 30 miles per hour at times this afternoon, mainly near Lake Superior. Here's the hour by hour. There's the swath. It moves in from south to north widespread by midday. More moderate to heavy intensities in the central and the eastern counties. Those are all kind of more of in this darker shade of purple and blue. And then as we head towards the afternoon, we'll still have the widespread snow. This is 430, but it starts to decrease in intensity. It becomes more scattered about as we head towards tonight and then by tomorrow morning it's just a few lingering lake effect snow showers along the northerly wind belts within parts of Marquette and Alger counties. The rest of the day tomorrow looks a whole lot better as far as precipitation. Things start to dry out rather quickly. It is still going to be a cloudy one for tomorrow. High temperatures today in the upper 20s for most areas and then as we head towards tonight lows in the lower 20s to right around some teens along the Wisconsin state line by tomorrow morning and then highs tomorrow more in the seasonal range. So that cooler air starts to set in behind the storm system. The highs in the lower 20s across the west end. We're looking at mid 20s in the central and the eastern counties. Some similar temperatures expected for this weekend and at times for next week. Uh, some isolated snow chances possible for parts of the Keweenaw 